What's going on? Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Brother Jermaine Anderson, and welcome to another episode of Maine's Desk, where I take scripture, devotionals, news, and pop culture and roll it all into one. And today I'm doing part one of our three-part series called He is Risen. It is our Easter podcast in three parts that I'm going to be doing here today, tomorrow, and Saturday. So keep tuned in and you'll get the notifications. And today I want to talk about the first part, which is the betrayal of Jesus. And I'm going through the three parts. Part one is the betrayal. Part two is the crucifixion. And part three is the resurrection to celebrate, uh, whether you call it Easter, Resurrection Sunday, whichever you want to call it, you want to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. So today we're going to go through scripture. It's going to be Matthew 26. And you're going to have to bear with me here. It's about 75 verses. So if you want to follow along, you may. Otherwise, you can skip over to the time mark that I'm going to put in the description box where I can start the commentary there and do summaries. If you want to skip the scripture part, if you already read the scripture, you want to skip over. I'll have that in the description box for you to uh, continue with this video. So I'm going to go ahead and play Matthew 26 and then I'll come back with commentary. 26. And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. And then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people unto the palace of the high priest, who was called Caiaphas, and consulted that they might take Jesus by subtlety and kill him. But they said, Not on the feast day lest there be an uproar among the people. Now when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman, having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head, as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much, and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman hath done, be told for a memorial of her. Then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot, one unto the chief priests, and said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say unto him, The Master saith, my time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve, and as they did eat, he said, Verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceeding sorrowful, and began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, he that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it, and break it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat. This is my body. And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many, for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine, 
until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. And when they had sung an hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Then saith Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night, for it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here, while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here, and watch with me. And he went a little farther, and fell on his face, and prayed, saying, O my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and saith unto Peter, What, could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time, and prayed, saying, O my father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, thy will be done. And he came, and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them, and went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then cometh he to his disciples, and saith unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand that doth betray me. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves, from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Hold him fast. And forthwith he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. And Jesus said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they, and laid hands on Jesus, and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand, and drew his sword, and struck a servant of the high priests, and smote off his ear. Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkst thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled, that thus it must be? In that same hour said Jesus to the multitudes, are ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves for to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, and ye laid no hold on me. But all this was done, that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. And they that had laid hold on Jesus led him away to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and elders were assembled, but Peter followed him afar off unto the high priest's palace, and went in, and sat with the servants to see the end. Now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Jesus to put him to death, but found none. Yea, though many false witnesses came, yet found they none. At the last came two false witnesses, and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God, and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose, and said unto him, Answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witness against thee? But Jesus held his peace. And the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by the living God, that thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. And Jesus saith unto him, Thou hast said. Nevertheless I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven.
Then the high priest rent his clothes, saying, He hath spoken blasphemy. What further need have we of witnesses? Behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. What think ye? They answered and said, He is guilty of death. Then did they spit in his face, and buffeted him. And others smote him with the palms of their hands, saying, Prophesy unto us, thou Christ, who is he that smote thee? Now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, Thou also wast with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him, and said unto them that were there, This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him they that stood by, and said to Peter, Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech betrayeth thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. All right, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for being patient, going through that long scripture. I know it's a very long scripture, but it's actually uh, detailing the story of the betrayal of Jesus. So I want to go um, do some summaries uh, piece by piece here. So first of all, let's talk about Matthew 26 verses 1 through 13. I'm going to go ahead and summarize this. Now, the summary behind it is uh, that Jesus informed the disciples that he will be handed over to be crucified. The chief priests and the elders assembled in the palace of the high priest and schemed to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him, but not during the festival of Passover because they didn't want to outrage the people who followed Jesus. So they didn't want to get them upset. So they wanted to wait till after the fact. And Jesus was anointed in Bethany by a woman in the house of Simon the leper with expensive perfume. And the disciples were a bit upset because they believed that she should have sold it at a high price and then take that money and give it to the poor. And they, they just found it as being a waste. And then Jesus told them that she did it to prepare for his burial in act of love and devotion. And so Matthew 26 verses 1 through 13. And that's the summary of that part of that chapter. So then we go into verses 14 through 19. The summary of that is that Judas went to the high priest and asked them how much would they give him to betray Jesus. And that offer was uh, 30 pieces of silver. And then going into Matthew 26. Verses 17 through 35 is um, the disciples asked Jesus where he want them to make preparations for Passover, for the festival, for the dinner. And then Jesus asked the disciples to approach a man in the city and have him prepare a room for the Passover at his house. And then as they were eating, the disciples became sorrowful when Jesus confided that one of them is about to betray him. And Judas then said to Jesus, surely it is not I. And then Jesus then replied, you have said it yourself. So while everybody was eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and told them that this is my body. That's what he uh, told the disciples. And he also gave them wine and told them that it was his blood. So that's where, you know, we talk about the communion with the bread and the wine that came from that scripture and then the um blood is in the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins and then after singing the hymn they all went out to the mount of olives and while they were there jesus told them that they will fall away you know, Jesus told the disciples that they will fall away 
when Peter then said that he will never fall away and Jesus assures that Peter will deny him three times and that will um, that goes on later in the in that chapter and when Jesus went to pray he told the disciples to sit and wait for him while he prays and the disciples fell asleep on three occasions when Jesus prayed so when Jesus prayed came back one time they fell asleep came back another time fell asleep came back a third time they were still asleep and they woke him up saying you know it's that time for him to you know get betrayed and then going into verses 47 through 68 now while Jesus, while Jesus was praying Judas returned and had an army of men with him and sent and the men were sent from the chief priests and elders and they seized Jesus and arrested him and then Jesus was taken to Caiaphas the high priest's palace and was there for trial while then Peter followed him over there. Now a couple of witnesses spoke out and declared that Jesus said that he was able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Then the high priest stood up and asked Jesus if he was the Christ, the son of God. And Jesus gave the high priest a clue that he was. And so then high priest accused Jesus of blasphemy and said that he deserved to be put to death. And now you're going to Matthew 26, verses 69 through 75. Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard and a girl came to him and said that he too was with Jesus, but Peter denied it. Then another girl said to the bystanders that Peter was with Jesus and Peter denied it again. Then the bystanders said to Peter that Surely he was one of the followers of Jesus. Then Peter began to curse and swear. And then a rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the words Jesus said to him back at the time where Jesus, um, around the time when you know Jesus was praying before he got captured. Jesus told him that he was going to deny three times. So Jesus knew exactly what was going to happen ahead of time with that and then Peter went outside and wept bitterly so that's Matthew chapter 26 of the betrayal story then tune in tomorrow I'm going to go talk about the crucifixion and the death of Christ and then on Saturday we'll talk about the resurrection so it was part one of our he is risen series or Easter series so appreciate you all for listening. Let me know what you think. You can also comment on the video or like it if you like it. And I will see you part two next time as we talk about the crucifixion and the death of Christ. Have a good night. Be blessed. Stay safe once again and continue to pray.